10 Rappers Most Embarrassing Stage Moments. No coming back from that. With rappers nowadays always spending time in the limelight, as public as ever, it's relatively easy to capture anything and everything they do, especially when performing. Hi and welcome to King Trending, where today we will be looking at 10 of the most embarrassing moments rappers have had on stage. Number 10. Six Nines Double Tumble One failed stage dive is understandable, but two? We might have to make it a recurring gag at this point. The first time it happened was at a Fetty Wap show in Montclair, New Jersey. What had happened was that usually the performer will make sure they're jumping in a good spot. Usually. At this concert though, Takashi was feeling the moment and went straight for it. He explained that what he'll do is turn to his back so that he doesn't hit anyone with his knees or elbows. The downside? The back to concrete impact is that much more painful. The second stage dive was at a marshmallow concert the next day. The crowd dispersed like the Red Sea and man's legit hit the pavement again like it was nothing. But not before he could take an innocent girl down with him. Maybe he should consider retiring from the art of stage diving. It hard, bro. Like my lower back was done. Like, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was going to be paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? They jumped on top of me, started hugging me, pinching me. Yeah, I went right back on stage and grabbed the mic and did it again. They moved twice. They moved twice, right? <laughs> Number 9. DJ Khaled booed off EDC stage. For someone with as big as an ego as Khaled, getting booed off stage is probably the last thing he'd want to happen to himself. Scheduled to perform at the 2017 EDC concert in Las Vegas, Khaled barely went 15 minutes in before practically being forced off stage by the audience. He didn't take the hate from the crowd lightheartedly and was insistent on completing his scheduled hour-long performance, but really it only got worse for him. Khaled did end up putting the blame on the event's sound technicians, claiming his performance was rigged from the get-go. However, it's easier to believe that the audience just did not want him there. Following a less-than-ideal performance at Coachella earlier that year, it's likely that Khaled was simply filler for EDC, and the crowd really wanted the next performer, Yellowclaw, to come out on stage already. Go. Number 8. Tough Crowd, Designer The 2016 Philadelphia 76ers opening season game was one for the ages, and for all the wrong reasons. For one, Seven Streeter was kept from singing the U.S. National Anthem over a shirt, but that steps away from the narrative. The real low light of the night, though, was Designer's halftime show performance. At the time, his most popular song, Panda, was still doing well on the charts, and decided to perform it to hype up the home crowd of Philadelphia. Unfortunately for him, Philly fans are some of the most unforgiving, and it didn't help that the New Yorker was an uncharted territory. The awful performance was cut short, leaving a shirtless designer to be booed off the court with his pants down to his knees. Really though, the performance was awful, and could even be blamed for the 76ers 103-97 loss that night against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, probably not that far. Number 7. Travis Scott's Hole in One We would have used the moment Travis Scott goes off on a security guard in full-blown auto-tune, but it's more funny than embarrassing. Don't ever take off your mic out of my fan's hand, man. He said, hey, yo, Mike, no security touches a Travis Scott fan, bro. That's not how we rock it, bro. No, instead our focus is on Travis Tumble during Drake's Boy Meets World Tour in the UK. The tour itself had a lot of problems, so in hopes of going out with a bang on his third night in London, Drake bought out Travis Scott for a collaboration. The night was a smashing success as long as you disregard Travis's plunge into the middle of the stage. Apparently he didn't get the note that there'd be an open trap door in the center with a giant globe as part of Drake's big finale. The Canadian rapper of course helped out Travis and even offered the crowd a full refund for the mishap ruining the closing act. 
Even Travis took it while mentioning on Twitter that the night was turnt and epic. Number 6. Lil Yachty's Crash Say what you will about the bubblegum trap rapper, but you can't deny his dedication to giving his fans a good performance. Late to the stage at a summer Ottawa concert, the fisherman's overalls wearing goofball started loud and started proud before plunging through the stage onto the amplifiers below. There's no denying the little Yachty fell red in the face at the time. Even just a little, but at least he had the decency to finish the show like a true performer. Number 5. Post Fall on His Own, Malone As we've seen this time and time again on this list of embarrassments, stage dives to rappers are like the golfing sequence in Navy Seals. Post Malone is of course no different, and during his show in St. Louis in September 2017, had to learn the hard way that what goes up inevitably must come down. Intending to have surfed the crowd right as the beat to Rockstar would have dropped, rather than making a smooth landing, Post instead would end up bruised and a little embarrassed. Well, that's what you might have expected at least, but it didn't seem to faze him at all. Like the song, Post just rocked on and kept his cool while nonchalantly laying on the concert floor. Pro tip for stage diving, make sure your fans are prepared. <laughs> Number 4. Drake Takes a Knee Following a knee injury involving a torn ACL from sometime in 2009, Drake was planned to feature in the America's Most Wanted tour alongside Lil Wayne, Young Jeezy, and a few others. And despite his doctors advising him not to perform, what do you know? He went and does it anyways. Can't exactly hate him for that, though, right? It shows he's dedicated, of course, but still, it's recklessly irresponsible. Come time for their show in Camden, New Jersey, where Drake is performing side by side with Lil Wayne, and suddenly the venue witnesses his hard fall to the stage floor. A torn ACL isn't much of a joking matter, but what else could Lil Wayne do after being left to handle the crowd all on his own? Well, I guess thirst around for a lady to come up and sing Drake's part is one option. Number 3. Kanye West's Fall of the Lights Granted that subtitle will make a lot more sense when you realize he was performing his song, All of the Lights. Anyway, this embarrassing moment for the artist was, at the time, something new. Typically, he'd be used to storming off stage, having his microphone cut out, or even booed off. But this time, it was his own. Performing in Bergen, Norway, Kanye was feeling loved like never before and decidedly pogoed his way into submission, kneeling over and slamming onto the stage. If only it was a second later, the flashing lights would have made it all the more gratifying to see him fall flat on his face. Still, we have to give props to Kanye for not canceling the show on the spot, despite being caught lip syncing. <laughs> Chief Keef's beat drop, drop. Admittedly, Chief Keef hasn't exactly been on people's radars for a while. Surprisingly, he managed to kick off 2017 fiercely with a new mixtape and a set of tour dates, one of which being held in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where he gained even more clout that year for this embarrassing fall, or less, depending on how you look at it. Regardless, it's not something you'd want to happen to you. In the midst of performing Rifa off his new mixtape, Chief manages to climb up two tables on the edge of the stage, only to slip and fall off right after. Perfect timing too, he literally fell as the beat dropped. Luckily for him, a pair of security guards helped to break his fall, which he later blamed on the tables being wet from the act before him. <laughs> X marks the spot. X gonna give it to you? More like X take it from you. Taking place at a San Diego concert in June 2017, X was given a shocking surprise when he was knocked out instantly following a sucker punch mid-performance. Security couldn't even get to X and the attacker on time before managing to throw in a couple more punches while on the ground, only to finally get taken off stage. 
He didn't take it lightly either, accusing the venue and security of sabotaging him, while fans pointed the blame to Rob Stone for setting it up. And with that said, that concludes what are 10 rappers' most embarrassing moments on stage. Feel free to comment what you thought about today's video, and maybe leave a like if you've enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to see more King Trending videos similar to this one in the near future. Just another reminder to enter the iPhone 10 giveaway we have going on. All you guys need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like, and comment the hidden message in the video. Thank you for watching till the end, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.